According to President Umnangogwa, opposition political party leaders should feel free to speak with the head of state directly rather than through intermediaries, the media, or third parties. The Political Actors Dialogue Polet platform was created by President Umnangogwa, who has maintained an open-door policy to all Zimbabweans. On this platform, he frequently engages with all political opposition parties. While several parties, including the leader of the CCC, Mr. Nelson Chamisa, have embraced Polet, some have chosen not to and have instead expressed their willingness to communicate on the incorrect platforms. President Umnangogwa stated last week in an interview with the Third Eye and Brick by Brick magazines that all opposition leaders should refrain from seeking communication outside of traditional channels as this was not the sign of true leadership. Ichimisa goes to the press to want to speak with me, if you want to speak with me, come to me, not the press, the speaker said. I won't respond to press release remarks. A strong leader is aware of how to approach a fellow employee for a conversation. With the adoption of the Zimbabwe dollar, President Umnengogwa declared that there was no going back because the early 2000s economic crisis was caused by the usage of foreign currencies. He declared that the government will implement measures to boost confidence and support the local currency. The Zimbabwean currency was destroyed by the sanctions. Because carrying $2 billion around to buy bread proved impractical. We abandoned our money and opened the market to other currencies, which stabilized the situation. Nevertheless, no nation can grow without its own currency. We have thus reached the point where we must have our own money. Which is seriously under attack, but we will never give it up. To ensure that we utilize our own currency, we might enact laws prohibiting the use of foreign cash, he suggested. The usage of the Zimbabwe dollar as legal cash, according to President Mungogwa, is irrevocable. He also noted that the nation is economically independent. Our people must understand that while foreign currencies from other nations may not last, our money will. We gained political independence for the first time in 1980, but after the Lancaster Constitution expired in 1990, we acquired full independence. We are independent in terms of politics and our resources. No one tells us what we must do with our resources, he remarked. ZANU-PF has joined forces with a number of other international political parties to support Russia in its effort to challenge the dominance of the US dollar. The Secretary for External Relations of the ruling party, C.D. Simbaresh Mambenjegui, who was speaking on behalf of the national chairman, C.D. Opa Machinguri Kashiri, at a virtual meeting of the Forum of Supporters Against Modern Practices of Neocolonialism, said that the need to end imperialism had forced the party to take this position. We embarked on a mission to checkmate modern forms of imperialism and colonialism that are endangering international security, including that of the Russian Federation, when we assembled recently for our first constituent session. I am convinced that the topics we will be discussing at the upcoming Joint Forum of Supporters Against Modern Practices, which is slated for October, will address a wide range of difficulties that the rest of the globe is currently dealing with as a result of imperial forces' malicious schemes. In order to assure that we will play a bigger and longer role in determining how international affairs are shaped now and in the future in close cooperation, we as members of the international community must make a deliberate and strategic decision. After all, the creation of a stable and successful global community is in the best interest of all of our nations," said CD Imam Benjegli. Dmitry Medvedev, the head of the United Russia Party, stated during the same meeting that it was important to fight colonial powers. He stated that colonialism in its modern form is becoming an issue for many countries and the United States' phony rhetoric about human rights is doing significant harm. Nations must band together to fight neocolonialism, according to C.D. Enrique Fontana of the Brazilian Labour Party. Now that everyone is aware of the negative effects of neoliberalism, he said, there is a need for a meaningful productive participation. A global balance of power was demanded, and representatives from countries such as Indonesia, Venezuela, South Africa, Mozambique, Myanmar, Pakistan, and Nicaragua among others reaffirmed their support for Russia.